and basically I'm, I'm now introducing you to another special character. This is like a variable, question mark. Question mark has a special meaning in SQL Plus as the at sign does. The at sign says execute this OS script, okay? Um, this OS file, I'm sorry, with SQL commands in it. The, the dollar sign says substitute this for whatever the Oracle home variable is set to. Remember, the Oracle home variable is set to C colon slash Oracle app product 1110 DB underscore one. So we can assume that by question mark, we just, it's, it's as if we just, by putting a question mark after at, it's as if we're telling SQL that the file is located under C colon slash Oracle app product 1110 DB underscore one. And then we just appended the rest. RDBMS admin catalog that SQL semicolon. Okay, so question mark is another special character in SQL plus that basically just means um, Oracle Home. And when I hit enter, you'll see that you'll see the output to all of the SQL commands that those files, catalog and cat proc, and all the files that it's executing are um, are running. Uh, this takes a minute or so to run, so I'm going to pause the video and come back. Okay, okay, the uh, script is uh, done running. Took a few minutes, so now what we're going to do is we are going to execute the second script. Now remember, at sign Oracle Home RDBMS Admin Cat Proc that SQL. Run them in the, in this order, by the way. Okay, and this is going to this is going to further install programs which are called PLSQL blocks and and enable other features and basically just populate those DBF database files that we created earlier, the system sysdocs and all those, with information that the database engine needs to make this database functional to Oracle. Okay. Um, again, this this takes a little longer than the other one because it loads a lot of big programs, so we're kind of going so. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video and resume when it's done. Okay, okay, welcome back. The uh, CatProc program just ran. We took a look at the output here. And so now that we ran the create database, which creates our files, our shells, and we created our, uh, we ran our catalog.sql and our catproc.sql scripts, which are provided by Oracle, now we are ready to, um, now our database is functional. So it has everything it needs. So we're going to do a shutdown command. That, who would have thunk that's the command to shut down Oracle database. So type in shutdown semicolon. And start it back up. And this will verify. Now we shouldn't get any error message because the control files are. Now this verifies basically that, that the Oracle engine, okay, the code that is the software that's that's controlling how SQL plus starts off the database, shuts down the database, does all that, has everything it needs in this in these database files to do what it has to do. Okay, so notice that on shutdown, it first closed the database, then it dismounted the database, then it shut the instance down. We noticed that with startup, it was com it was the reverse, vice versa. It first started the instance, then it mounted the database, and then it opened the database. And you know, don't worry about that. We'll talk about that later. What what those steps actually mean. Okay, um, we have created an Oracle database, and it's up. That's how you do it, and uh, I hope you guys learned, and we will, um, oh, I just wanted to also mention that there is a utility called DBCA, which stands for uh, Database uh, Configuration Assistant, which creates a database as well, and I actually probably, I should show you guys it, actually. Um, this is an easy way to create your database. Um, without doing the commands that we just did. It actually does the create database command for you. It, it executes the catalog and cat proc scripts. It does everything we just did. I prefer to do it this way because I'm a geek, but and I like commands, but also because um, I, I, I like to have more control. But there's no reason to not do it this way either. And I believe it's in this directory. No, it's not. Uh, excuse me. Give me a second. There it is. Okay, it's in it's an Oracle Home Assistance, and it's called and it's and the executable is called DBCA, which stands for Database Configuration Assistant. So again, the GUI to create databases is in your Oracle Home path slash Assistance, and the executable is called the program is called DBCA, Database Configuration Assistant. 
and it's a Java-based utility, which means it's written in a Java programming language, um, and it's a GUI that is like a wizard. It steps you through creating your database. Here it comes. See? And you just go through the wizard, and you create your database. Okay, that's it for now, and um, please stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.